So when I paint on black, see I just wipe titanium white and put a little bit of color on my finger and wipe it across so I don't, and I'm done. So yeah. I, I try to figure out whether, and sometimes I don't even go back and uh, paint the sky. Yeah. And I just leave it like these. I hardly ever, I just smear some color and wipe it out with a rag. Yeah. So. Pretty awesome. I, you, you built a cart, you said? It's like a golf cart? Oh, I'm neglecting my family. I'm going to go Bye. to them, but I'm going to contact See. you both. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And so that way, and then I've, I've made, uh, I've got three plein air outfits. Yeah. That I've made. One's like a pochade box, and the other two, I've got one that I made out of metal. Yeah. I, well, I bought it and I rebuilt it, and it uses magnets to hold the canvas, the board in place. But if you're painting the rain, it doesn't matter. Yeah. I guess I I should post I should post them. Uh, are, are these acrylics or oil? Oil. I only use. Yeah. Oil. Yeah. Because, Oil's the best. Yeah. Acrylics are too, they're too gray. Yeah. They're so, too. And I like spending thirty to fifty dollars a two. Yeah. <laughs> So, there's yeah. so many cheap paint. So. Yeah. yeah. So. That's awesome though. Yeah, I built a, a bike, a trike, that's like a easel, like it has a easel and a cut top on it. Yeah. I'm going to put an electric motor on it though, and then we'll be able to, you know, it's a bicycle with, you know, two wheels on the back though, yeah. so it's a trike. It's pretty cool. I, I'm excited about it, but I like the idea of the golf cart though. You know, you, and what I... The, I, I don't have any they, pictures uh, of it here, but we put uh, uh, wheelchair wheels that yeah. are quick. You push a button and they pop off. And so I've got it set so I, I, I just put it down in my studio and I use it all the time. Yeah. But I can put it in my truck you know, or I can pick it up and, and carry it. Yeah. I set it in my truck and then I just lift it down, I set it down and I'm painting. Wow. But also, this is the other trick I'll do. I go to, uh, uh, like, uh, do you have, uh, oh, I'm trying to think of it, like a Goodwill and those? Yeah. And I buy golf club umbrellas. Oh, yeah. You buy them for $5. But if yeah. you, you take them and uh, take the handle end of it, they usually got an oven, and yeah. you take just a flat chisel, and you chisel them down so it'll fit in the, the large ends of the PVC. Oh yeah, yeah. And then you take a piece of PVC, a smaller piece, and stick it in and glue it and bring it down and then put a joiner in there and you can make it the same size as the umbrella. So when you go out to paint, you just pop it together. Oh yeah, and, yeah. And you can buy, and then I tie, That's a big... I just tie a parachute cord to it. Yeah. And it'll come apart in the wind. Yeah. So you don't have to, you don't have to worry about your easel blowing over. So I yeah. just made four of those. That's and, awesome. So, That's awesome. Uh, I like your. Uh, so these are little five by sevens. Yeah. And you said you what did you say about painting upside down? Yeah. If you copy a photo, paint it upside down. Yeah. You get really fast. Yeah. Yeah, because you you're not thinking so linear. You're only or, thinking shapes. Shapes. And, and yeah. When, see when you look at this. You say, you see, here's a big square. Yeah. Here's a ball. Here's, yeah. So you're looking at these shapes, and so you just take a, a big fat filbert and pull yeah. this down, and and you squint at it and say, well, what color is this? Right. This is not grass. What what I'm saying? Look at this shape here. Yeah. You can see the shape. So I said, I can make that shape. So and pretty soon when you turn it around and you look at it, yeah. and then you you got these little lines here. And so you take those filberts yeah. and, you, and you turn them and, and uh, just uh, go bam, bam, bam. Yeah, so. there you go. So that's how you do the finish, kind of yeah. you turn it over and, and, and yeah. so you just block it in. Kind of pull it together. Yeah. And the thing about painting on black, it's, there's so much, like we have yeah. lots of ponderosa pine, so there's so much that I don't have to paint. Yeah. So once I figure out where the color is going, and if you run out of time, and you just you yeah just walk away from it. Oh, I know. I hate it when it's, there's white on the canvas. Like, and, and I can't yeah. stand it. I won't even. I can't. And in fact, yeah. I tried to paint on a white canvas the other day. Yeah. And I got so irritated. I mixed up some mud 
smeared it over the whole thing. Yeah. In fact, did you see this little painting here? No. Uh -huh. I did this to show people. I painted this with a, a shop oh. towel. Wow. I just, a shop towel. I just I just put I put uh, wow titanium white and then I just took a shop towel and twisted it up with a little bit of medium. And wow. Took, took off what I didn't want. Yeah. So, that's awesome. Well, thanks for sharing, L okay. Yeah, I should have a... Yeah, you should be on uh, YouTube or something. Well, well I'll, put, I'll make a video for you and we can uh, put it on YouTube or okay. something. You're awesome. Thanks, brother. Thank you. I enjoy it. Maybe I'll see, see you over in L what, what city do you live in? Spokane. Spokane? Yeah. That's where I was born. Do you yeah, should go. We have, a, we have a cabin at Priest Lake. Do you go there? Yeah. You Priest, can come on up. You know, Priest Lake is a gold mine. Oh, I know. Yeah. For painters. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's spectacular. Do you ever go to the entry gallery? Where? Oh, yeah, yeah. She, I used to sell my stuff there. She is wonderful. Yeah. She's just great. This